We created a kitchen where I love to cook and where we like to spend time. But how it started? We're going to have a very big table over here. This is where the kitchen is to remove this wall. So we might going to simplify things here. Planning to change things around, but this is going to stay the pantry area. Is the day? There's one, two, three, four. <gasps> Poop everywhere. Okay, how many mice have you found? Honestly. We only found one mouse. I don't believe you. That's him. I don't remember. <laughs> You're too stuck in. The mice were coming through here, right there. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. this is a mice poop. that is related to baking. So these two holds the silicone molds. I really love silicone molds because I can create so many sweets with that. That's um, basically a very similar recipe but just in a little bit of a different shape and adding a different type of jam or something like that. So I can play around that. And I have more baking items up here. Uh, these are just fun papers and just fun things for baking. If I wanna bake something for as a gift or for some occasion like celebration or Christmas or to decorate the food. So this is what I like to use for that. Some boxes for pizza because we have to be gluten and dairy free. I have some boxes for that. With the pizza boxes. This is what I have and the boys really like that, that I can put the pizza into a separate box. It's a smaller one, so I like the size. These are just random things that I don't use that often and I thought it's gonna be a good place up there for that. In this section, I like to keep my cutting board. I have a big one from Ikea and so I have this apple shape one. I usually like to use this for sweets. This one is from Goodwill and I like this because I can turn this into a basket but also I can put hot dishes when I lay this down on the table so it has two functions. Muffin baking sheet. I really like these. It perfectly fits into my little oven. Little trays for snacks, bigger trays for preparing the breakfast. I got two baking sheets. I like to keep here this cooler rack. And this little oven, I use this multiple times a day. I basically rely on this one. I have a bigger one, but I always use this one. In this drawer, I like to keep the kitchen towels and the aprons, and this is nearby when I need it too. So these are all the linen type of things. In this drawer, I have all the things that I need to prepare food, like food processor, 
the grinder, the hand mixer and then I have the vacuum seal for freezing things. So I have a different system for the other food in the refrigerator. On the bottom I got the white mix and the juicer. These are really tall so they have to be in the bottom drawer because of that. This is the cabinet above the refrigerator and this is where I like to keep the lunch bags and we have one more big one but Joat uh, left with the boys so they took the big one. It's hard to reach. I like to put very light stuff that are kind of bulky so the lunch bags are perfect for that and it's a perfect location also because this is where I pack the food. For an easy access I like to use this file organizer that are magnetic so that that's what holds up this on the refrigerator and I like to put the cutting board there that I use very often and a little tray. This shelf, this is where we like to keep the fruits, bananas, oranges, apples, you name it. We have it on this shelf and it's very handy. I like it. It's not too deep. So this is what we have instead of the upper cabinets. I mean, it would be hard to get an upper cabinet because we got windows all around. But I don't even want to because I think it's just easier to have drawers and I do lose some storage that way but I think I can manage to have just the bottom uh, drawer since we have the island that's an additional storage so that way I can avoid the upper cabinet. Way back then I created a zone organizing for the kitchen so this is what I'm going to show you how I implemented that and that is to avoid the clashing in the morning with my husband so when he makes smoothies he has his area it is just based on where we do the tasks and it makes it easier to grab the things that we need we are not crossing each other's way it's just easier to get the task done for example i have this big cutting board right next to the sink so it makes an easier cleanup for the vegetables so it made sense to keep it here and this is the box where I like to put the breads and all the baked good also I'm going to cut it on this board it makes sense to have this designated spot for these tasks and since I have the pantry over here this is the station where I like to prepare the breakfast and then all the bakings because the pantry is just one step away I also have the measuring cups on this little shelf and all the things that I need for mixing the ingredients so that makes it easier I have the swilling pump here as well and I have my little speaker I love to listen to music with that so that would be the zone to prepare a meal. On the top I like to keep all the containers that I use on the daily basis to pack lunch. And now it's empty because as I said, Joat and the boys just left for a couple of hours. And then, so I have my dish, but I got three more of that. And a lot more of these flat ones. I really like these. I got these at um, each mart and these are from Amazon. As for the next drawer, since this is the prepping area I have all the mixing bowls and on the bottom I have some extra jars I like to use these in the refrigerator or if I want to take uh, lots of drink with me they just come handy in any, any occasion right next to that drawer I have the swilling uh, glasses this is a storage system that I love so much I made a video on that I will link it down below and this is the next drawer I could squeeze that one into the top drawer where I keep all the rest of the food packing items. They used to be in one drawer. So I just keep up here the ones that I use every single day. And then if we go for a bigger trip, I have these um, containers I love so much. I could nest them, but I find that one is an easier way for me to find and locate things. And, and since I have the space, I just put the lid on and that's how I store it. It could have taken up less space in a different way of storing, but it, that's how I, I like it because I get to see what I have right away and the size that I need. I have a couple of bags. I have these for years. I really like to use this for multiple things like apples can be a good way to carry or if I have a bag of tortilla chips I just put the whole bag open the top and with this bag I can just close it as we travel. So these are for um, 
uh, longer outings when I want to take out more food. And on the bottom I got the swilling bags. Uh, a couple of these boxes. I really like these. These are from Ikea. And then I have some um, nut bag and then baking stuff. I got another one that's got the cookie cutters. Just a few Pyrex down there to bake and the wheeling bags. I put the wheeling bags down there because I like to use the glass ones as much as possible. But sometimes I need the bags, um, but not as often as the glassware. Under the sink, I went a little bit on traditional way that way. <laughs> we don't have garbage down there because I needed this, this space for a taller item. And I love this mat because it has a trim around that. So that will keep the water disaster in there. <laughs> I have this slicing machine. I use this for bread and just for itself it was worth it to purchase because I can make more slice that way than just with knife. And then also I can slice other things like uh, salami and then all uh, sorts of cold cuts that I can buy now in bulk. KitchenAid is a classic. Sometimes I use it a lot, sometimes I don't use it at all. So I have my back and forth with that. But this is not an item to just get rid of um, in a spare of a moment. So <laughs> I think that's gonna be a keeper. As for the sink, we got this off of Amazon. And I love that it's wider and it's not as deep. And first I was afraid that if it's not deep enough, I cannot put a lot of dish in there. And I really like it that it's shallow because it's just, I don't have to bend over as, as much. So it's easier on my back. It makes more sense to me now that I have that and I experienced that one versus the deeper one. But I like that it's, it has a wide opening. I think it's more important to have a wide opening than a depth for a sink. I used to think different way, but since I have that, I swear this is really truly an amazing um, way to wash the dishes. It's way easier. And also I love this grid because it keeps all the dishes that we put into the sink off of the sink uh, to, from the bottom and it I can just rinse it off so the sink itself doesn't get dirty as much because I can just have all the food go down to the drain for this section which is underneath where we keep and have all the tomatoes and apples and bananas I have this drawer where we keep all the forks knife and um, there's such a things like silverware and utensils and then the reason I like to keep these here and the plates in the next drawer and all the glasses because it's right next to the dishwasher so it's easy to unload the dishwasher once it's done. The bottom drawer I have the dehydrator and the bread making machine. So these are the two, the two most bulkiest item in my kitchen so I had the hardest time to find place for these. I'm glad that drawer can swallow it. <laughs> Underneath the oven this is the second oven I have but I like better that smaller one but it's nice to have a second one when I have a lot more to bake and underneath I keep this Pyrex dishes and then this is what I like to bake in every morning top drawer under the cooktop I have all the tools that I need while I'm frying and cooking the next drawer I have my uh, zepter pots and I have these for over 25 years oh <laughs> okay just realizing the time 25 years I have these pots so as you can tell it's this part is started to fall apart but all the rest is just works like as on the day I got it top quality I'm not sure if they make it anymore but I wish they would because I want to buy a bigger one now that I got two teenager boys. Oh, they like wood chippers. And on the bottom, this is a ceramic coated nonstick. And then I have another pot that is in the dishwasher. That's basically our microwave because we just warm up everything on the cooktop. And I put this cutting board between them so they don't scratch. And I have this cast iron pan. Last section. This is the top drawer. I created a nice space for all my knives because it will stay sharp longer that way. And I also like the way this organizer is because basically it's just um, in one 
piece so I don't have to have this on the countertop but it's all in one piece and I can keep the small ones up here and then the bigger ones down here and it's just I just really like this one I also like this organizer it comes with a little slot that I can just separate in a way I want to there are some channels where I can put this in so I can adjust to the size that I need and it's a huge help that I'm able to adjust that and these are the little ones when I want to serve something with a little sauce or just a coffee and I really like this little dishes and the next drawer is the cast idol I love these so much and I love the color of them and I love the size and the shape although I had to be careful to cook a little bit slower in these because I can burn the food faster in that one than in my zepter one that has a very thick bottom but once I got the hang of it, I really love the shape. It's very easy to stir food in there. Also, I have this little one just if I want to warm up a soup because I like to eat soup. And then the bottom. This is the most random drawer. I have these big Pyrex mixing bowls down there and all the rest is kind of like a wooden plate. This is for serving food. I got some extra things for washing the dishes. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it here but as of right now this is where I it find a place to live. <laughs> and then yeah so these are the serving dishes. That's why on the bottom because I don't use it too often or mainly just I'm the only one who using it because I'm putting out the food in there. So it's not like a dish that we use to eat from every day. And if we come to this side, I have a bamboo steamer up there. I like to keep it up there so it doesn't get mold because it dries very slowly. And for the garbage, uh, this is our system. So we got the garbage can and then we have this uh, for the chicken. Oh, it's got some um, reddish greens in there. <laughs> So that will go to the chickens. I take that out uh, on the afternoon and then this is for the compost. We take this out once a day and for the garbage we take it out uh, I would say every second day because we don't have that many signs. We have the compost. Sometimes this one we have to take it out twice a day. So if I'm cooking more I get more things then um, more will end up in here or for more like for the chickens like for the chickens we have multiple runs those girls are awesome they eat a lots of leftovers on the lower shelves so I have these are the bags for the garbage bag sometimes I just use the blueberry bag if we have a frozen blueberry I use that bag but if we don't I have that one and if I close it it still has some space so I can just roll it out and it releases very easily. And I keep the bandages here since I've got boys and they're constantly fixing something. We need bandages. <laughs> and I find this is the best place for it because if I put it into the bathroom, somebody's always, always in the bathroom. So that way it's, it's available all the time for everybody. I have some soaps that I'm curing down there. If you haven't seen my last video, I shared how to make that. We don't use a lot of paper towels, but I keep one here just for disasters. And then I have some uh, barkeeper's friend. I don't buy any cleaner at all. I make them at home and then you can see on my website scandishhome.com I have all the recipes but this stuff it's a non-toxic one and I used to use the powder form but this creamier one is better because it doesn't damage the porcelain and it's an incredible cleaner for sink. Even if you have a hopeless sink that will save it. As for sitting I ordered these stools uh maybe two years ago i think so and then they are so sturdy and it's a perfect color and shape we used to have big bulky ones with a huge back so that took down on the busyness of the kitchen and they are surprisingly comfortable for the pantry i made an organizing video how i organize my pantry and how i restock them so i will link that video down below for you if you want to check out in more details what we have in this pantry another thing that i want to mention as we created this kitchen obviously we were limited with the design in a video we had to have the cooked up here and then 
we had to have the sink over there. So we had to consider what makes sense money wise and how much we want to change because I could have come up with a different design that would might have worked for us better but this is what we had to work with. So even with this limited option that we had we still adjusted this um, island so that way we were able to keep the cooktop over here with the vent but we pushed it a little bit in that direction since we took out the wall we were able to push it out a little bit farther so we did gain that much space so that is a little bit more narrow but i can tell you this was a game changer and then the way Joat measured that out i think he opened the dishwasher and then considering that it's open you can still walk around that that's how we got that distance and it's it's a perfect distance not to lose too much space from the other side but this area is more usable that way it's functioning better it's it's less stressful to walk around each other because we got plenty of space this is where i park this island i like to use this outside on the back patio but we had a couple of days of rain so i just pulled it in and put it into the corner i hope you enjoyed this quick tour if you have any other questions let me know down below in the comments maybe i can do an additional video to my website or to the youtube <laughs> will be decided later but let me know down below if you have any questions and then i will see you soon in the next video bye